thank you for joining me. Welcome to the weekly gospel show. I'm your host. My name is Precious Mzea Sakaleji, sitting in for Kat Amanda. Hope you get well soon, Kat. Yes, she's unwell today. Now, for those of you that are watching Weekly Gospel for the very first time, well, this is a show that allows you to get to know your gospel artists, both upcoming and those that have been in the game for a very long time. So we get to ask you which artists you'd love to see on this platform, and we'll give them a call. We'll connect with them. We'll interact with them, and then get to find out if they are free to, or they can free their schedule to actually come on the weekly gospel show so that you get to find out how their life is going how they managed to survive into the gospel industry considering the fact that there are hiccups here and there and also when they became born again questions like that so now joining me on set today i have two guests that's m3 and ludovic okay now before we get into the conversation remember that you can actually come through and interact with us the phone lines will be open you get to be given an opportunity to ask the artist that will come through on set what questions you have for them if there's anything that you'd love to find out well this is a platform for you to do so now let's get into it and get to our playlist and the two songs on our playlist that we're starting with today uh this one is from m3 and it's called uh it's called uh Sumbleni. yes and then the other one is ludovic and it's called yesu Dilipano.
chapindama pamulandu wa mimbushandi mafwele miunga ya weno kulaswa pamulandu wa mimbushandi landa na inelesa landa na inelesa Oh, 
Welcome back. You're still watching the weekly gospel show on not just another channel, Kamne TV. And just at the beginning of the show, we'll play you something from Ludovic Yesu Mulipano. And then after that, M3 came through with Ndesumbula. So these are the gentlemen that are joining me on set from my far right, that's Ludovic. And then right here in the middle of, yeah, it's uh, Mr. M3. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year! I haven't happy seen you guys too. like so. Happy this New Year is to you too. New Year. <laughs> yeah, Happy New Year too. Well, how is it going so far? The month oh. of February, two months into the 2021. Uh, 2021 is promising. I yeah. can tell you, despite the the issue of Corona, uh -huh. we are following it up. Tagging it our way. Yes, yes. <laughs> M3. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, for me, 2021 yeah. is like. Um, a year of manifestation you know so we are on it we are following it up mm -hmm. yeah so two months into the year and god has done so much so Already. far yeah. yeah we thank him so starting with you ludovic for those that don't know you who is ludovic okay my name is ludovic chongo uh ludovic is the name given to me by my father mm -hmm. it's a french name uh, uh, it was named after the ninth king of France who took over the throne to liberate the Holy Land from Muslim. Mm -hmm. And uh, being a Catholic a group called Duarte Jali, uh, my father was following that person, uh, Ludovic. Uh, that's how my name came from. I thought it was actually a nickname or a stage name, eh? A stage name is Ludovic, Ludovic Music. Which is your actual name? Yes. Oh, great. Your, yes, yes. M3, uh, I'm sure there is a name behind <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure there's a name behind the M and sure. the M. Who is M3? Um, M3 uh, is actually uh, Am Mwamba. 
Mianda Malenga. Oh, S A M N. Exactly. So the three stands for the initials. All the names, yes. Ah, great. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. It makes sense. Oh like, yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, I'm on stage. If you are not an, an like a gospel artist, mm -hmm. if you are like a rapper, you'd be like, hey, I'm. This is M3 in wow. the view. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit. Let's start with you. How did your uh, music career start as a gospel artist? Okay, uh, I started like this. I was playing the guitar in the Catholic choir group mm -hmm. when I was just uh, very young. Mm -hmm. and, uh, after some years, I came to Lusaka. By like then, I was in the Copa Belt, mm -hmm. the kit. Like then, I was, yes, I came to Lusaka and uh, joined the Pentecostal, uh, as well as Bible Ministries, uh, where my music has blossomed where I am today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, I'm wishing to go very far with this uh, of music. Course, yes, of yes. Course. <laughs> MG, how did your music career start as a gospel artist? Um, well, initially I was uh, singing in church. Yeah. Um, I started singing way back at the age of nine mm -hmm. in the kids' choir at UCZ. Mm -hmm. But then, um, fast forward to 2012. You know, um, I received a lot of prophetic words, encouragement from people, because then I was in the praise team. So you'd do a few things and people would come, ah, oh, that was nice, that oh, was good. Be an artist. Yes, you know. <laughs> but then uh, at that time, I could not because I had an issue of you no know, self esteem mm -hmm. it was very low mm -hmm. and in as much as I could receive prophetic words and people would talk I could not really take it seriously mm -hmm. not until I was inspired by um, the man of God Ephraim the son of Africa yeah. yes and then uh, Rachel as well Pompey mm -hmm. these are the people that mostly inspired me and then I came across a friend of mine marvelous mm -hmm. Yes, he was like. He's an artist as well. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. He was like, "You've got it. You've got to go." Mm -hmm. So I. Yeah, that's how it all started. Got into the studio and. Yeah. You, you've, you've actually a answered my next question, which was gonna be, "Who inspired you?" Oh my to get, <laughs> it's all right. Who inspired you to get into the the gospel industry? So now I'll throw it at you, uh, Ludovic. Who inspired you to actually start singing gospel songs? Uh, like locally, yeah, a lot. It yeah. can be both local and local, international. international mm -hmm. From Congo, mm -hmm. uh, these guys, Mike Kalambai, they are just a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, very few to mention. Mm -hmm. uh, then here in Zambia, uh, Pastor Morris is one of my favorite gospel artists. He yeah. is a worshiper. That man is a worshiper. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. If you were uh, to be given an opportunity to work with an international gospel artist, who would it be? I really love to work with Kalambai. Mention three. Mention three. Okay. Um, Samis. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy Samis. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kalambai. Mm -hmm. uh, there are just a lot. And uh, this girl. Um, uh, even Rachel is just okay. Ah. She's fine. She's fine. She's <laughs> a good worshiper. Yeah, she I is. I love that, oh, that girl. Oh, okay. M3, international uh, artist or local artist that you would love to work with? Oh, <laughs> wow. Um, internationally, my inspiration, first of all, Martin Piquet. Oh, great. Yes. That one for me is tough. Then um, I think another international artist that I would love to work with is Iben mm -hmm. and uh, Sinach as well. Then uh, locally, yeah, Ephraim as usual. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Ephraim and. Um, Rachel, Pompey, and Tio as well. Tio really <laughs> inspired me at yeah. one point. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Ludovic, um, apart from singing, getting behind the mic and writing those lyrics, uh, ways and uh, praise and worship. What else do you do? Okay, by professional. Yeah, by professional or something that you do as part time. Okay. Um, I'm a building contractor by profession. Oh, great. Yes, uh, and. Uh, I have a lot to do. Uh, some I can't even disclose. <laughs> <laughs> Confidentiality? Confidential? We keep them confidential? Yes. So there are a lot of things that you do apart yes, from Yes, yes, there are a lot of things that I do. 
uh, to make uh, food on the table, especially. Uh, okay, so how do you manage to balance your personal life and your life as an artist? Okay, uh, being uh, in music is not an easy thing. Mm -hmm. So I need to work necessarily to achieve my goals. Mm -hmm. So how I balance, uh, I have the time for the studio, mm -hmm. maybe three times in a week. Because mm -hmm. I'm working on myself I just, uh, as a uh, self-employment. Mm -hmm. So some other days I go off for my personal job, then I go in the studio. Mm -hmm. Of course, rehearsing and uh, yes, popping up in the music. Oh, great. Uh, M3, how do you balance your personal life and your life being an, uh, a gospel artist? Um, well, uh, first of all, I am music. So everything about me is music. Other than that, I am a preacher. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Praise be to God. I am a preacher of the gospel. No. The coming of the Lord is just <laughs> at hand, so <laughs> we, we better win be souls, you know. Yeah, so uh, it's 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 not really easy to balance up the two because you are one person operating in two different sides. Music has got its own demands. Sure. You need to brand yourself, you know, appear a certain way. But at the same time, you are someone's child. Mm -hmm. You are someone's you know, someone's loved one and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, by the grace of God, I, I do balance up. Yeah, I you do, do balance. balance up. Yes. So now um, I'm throwing this question at both of you. Uh, being a gospel artist, there's a certain way you're supposed to act. There's a certain way you're supposed to dress. There's a certain way that you're supposed to talk. That's what society has laid down for us. Um, have you had any situations where you did something and then someone came to you to say, oh my God, but you're a gospel artist. You shouldn't be saying that or you shouldn't be doing that. Have you ever had such yeah, an incident? Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> Would you like to share what really happened? Uh, these things very irritate sometimes. Because <laughs> uh, you'll be... Uh, you'll be linking up with a lot of people, especially yeah. maybe the friends. You can't just run away from them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People used to uh, play with mm -hmm. in those days. Mm -hmm. Then when you meet, they will try to compare those uh, life days. Maybe to used know. to, yes, maybe if I was a drunker or I was a smoker, mm -hmm. they would love to compare, or even if you tell them that I'm, I'm a changed person, mm -hmm. yes. So they don't believe so, you that you've, you're a changed person? No, they believe uh, because of what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, the life I'm leading is exposing. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. M3, situations like that? Situations, yeah. Because... Um, you know we have this branding branding thing yes. yeah you uh -huh. so you carry yourself as a brand and some people would really have a problem like i remember when i was just starting it was i i had a certain dress code mm -hmm. and a certain hairstyle <laughs> because <laughs> yeah because when i was starting it was about pretty of r and yeah. So there was a certain dress code, a certain which had a problem with a certain type of people in the church. Mm -hmm. So they would come to you and say, but the way you're looking, <laughs> are you circular or something? And I remember somebody confronted me on Facebook. I posted some nice, nice photos and my fellow youths were like, oh, wow, this is yeah, nice, this is good. Nice, yeah. And then this one just comes out and says, hashtag circular. <laughs> <laughs> The shit, though. Yeah, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't be coming yeah. back to you. So, so how did you manage? Um, sorry, M3. How did you manage to like handle that? Um. One thing is, I have always given myself to learning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if somebody comes up with uh, a suggestion or they criticize me over something. I would not uh, brush it off, like just say, ah, it's just one. Good, no. either good or bad. Yeah, the, either good or bad, I'll still sit down, I'll have time for myself to see Reflect, what. Digest. Yes, mm -hmm. and then come up with uh, what I can use 
and what can work for me. Mm -hmm. So loyalty to the fans and to the people, regardless what they say. <laughs> That's a good one. That's, the key. That's a really good one. Uh, Ludovic, coming back to you, um, looking at the music industry and considering the fact that there are so many uh, people that are getting into the gospel industry, uh, do you feel there is that unity among us, the gospel artists, that uh, an artist that's popular would actually uh, come through for a, a, an upcoming gospel artist and say, this is what you need to do for you to get to certain a, a certain stage. This is how you need to ask, act. Do you feel you have that push from like people that have already been there in the gospel industry? Uh, uh, that I cannot lie. Mm -hmm. uh, there are just few people whom I get close with. Mm -hmm. Uh, they were just, uh, you may be conflating them to get some knowledge, but uh, sometimes they seem to be running away mm -hmm. from uh, myself. Okay. But uh, that's, that doesn't uh, discourage me to go mm -hmm. further. But I've got uh, some uh, uh, ministers mm -hmm. whom I cannot even mention here. Mm -hmm. they are, I'm working with them uh, to push the music. The music career. Yes, yes. And, um, it's a very good uh, example uh, to see uh, the one who, asked, who started uh, helping their comings. It's a very good uh, opportunity mm -hmm. uh, I should be taking. Yeah. Oh, okay. M3, do you feel like the gospel industry uh, helps, the gospel artists help each other grow? Or maybe you feel it's the other way around? Um, for the gospel industry, I will talk according to what I've observed experience. and what I've experienced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, for me, there have been times where I'll be at a concert and then minister. And then at that concert, maybe I'll be with, uh, I'll have a chance to, to talk to a bigger artist who's there. Mm -hmm. And then they would keep you promises. No, just give me a call. Sometimes they would even give you a number. You try to follow it up, it's, yeah. You try to follow it up, yes. You receive those one word answers. But then there are those that will just see it in you and they will give you a few connections here and there, tell you of how, uh, what you're supposed to do, where you're supposed to go, mm -hmm. and who you're supposed to see and what you are supposed to do and not supposed to do in order to get that. They are there. Of course, I cannot... So it's uh, like mixed caps. Yeah, it's a mixed cap. That are, it's a 50-50. Those a, that would help you out and those that wouldn't. Exactly. So you just have to give it a try. Oh, okay, great. So for those of you that are just joining us, well, this is the weekly gospel show. And on set, I'm joined in by Ludovic and M3. We're just having a conversation. They're upcoming gospel artists. Just at the beginning of the show, we had played two of their songs. In case you missed out, you would actually get a chance to listen uh, to their songs at the end of the show. But I can offer officially say that the lines are open if you'd love to give any word of encouragement if there's uh, any uh, comments that you would love to help this uh, gentleman grow in their music career well this is the time the phone lines are open just scrolling on your screen and also on Facebook you can mention a friend to come through and have a watch party with you you can start a watch party on Facebook we are live for those that can't catch us on on TV and considering the fact that lot shedding is back in case you get to have a park at just switch to Facebook and we are live on the other side. So now getting back to our conversation. Um, coming to you, uh, Ludovic, uh, do you see yourself um, at a point where, before you became a, a, a gospel artist, did you see yourself being where you are now? Did you see yourself being that man that's behind the Mac and singing gospel music? Or it just came up on the way? No. I before I even started the, uh, as a recording artist, mm -hmm. I saw it because it was in me. Mm -hmm. I, like I mentioned earlier on, I said I started in the Catholic choir group. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, there I was learning and I identified uh, my music career. Mm -hmm. I was playing the guitar. Mm -hmm. Later on, I was playing the keyboard. So I identified myself, uh, yes. So... You Although, knew that this this is this what is, you want yes, to yes, do. Yes, yes, yes. And I started growing up. That growing into that yes. area. Oh, mm -hmm. great. Empty. Did you see yourself being a gospel artist at this stage? 
Um, yes, I did uh, because of the what 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 made me see that the more was actually the compliments and the comments that I would get after maybe singing in church or after playing keyboard or something. Yeah, so for me, I did see myself here and beyond. But the problem I had is the how. Yes, how was it? Yes, but faith does it. <laughs> and faith <laughs> That's a <good> it. One. <laughs> Faith does it and faith did. So now, a little bit, we didn't really get into uh, you as in your, your personal life. Do you have family? Are you married? Oh, yeah. You were right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you forgot it. <laughs> no, I wouldn't forget that one. So now, how is, how, how, how is it with your music career and family? How many kids do you have? Uh, I have two of okay. them. Yes. Um, I'm a married man. Uh, by the name of my wife, she's Cynthia Msonda, and uh, she's my musician too. Oh, great, she sings as well. Yes. Ah, nice. I think uh, there are some people have uh, known her. She's a musician. She's helping me in growing in the music industry. I'm helping her as well. I'm sure in the house sometimes when she's in the kitchen and she starts a song, you probably join while you're in the bedroom and it's a whole and, choir and, session. And the daughter. And the daughter. <laughs> so it's two daughters? Yes. Oh, oh okay, great. Uh, MG, family? Family, um, not yet married. But? But, 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 but. somebody special somewhere. I'm ah, sure she's watching. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, so now, uh, at the end of the show, oh, we have a caller. Let's just pick up this call and then we'll get to the other side. Hello? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you. You're through to the weekly gospel. Who are we talking to? Thank you so much. This is Pastor Omar from Russia. Okay, Pastor Omar, how is Luansha this morning? Russia is cool and it's about to rain. Oh, okay, great. Hope you're keeping warm, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Please go ahead with the contribution. Yes, I'd like to ask a question, uh, M3. Yes, please. Yes, M3, uh, we have a special nowadays where you want to invite this goes for artists and sometimes before they come, they ask for something, you know, like a down payment. And sometimes when you look at the down payment, they... Thank you so much for coming through. He will answer the, the, the question. Thank you, bless you. Okay. Oh, well, uh, MD, you were hit with the question. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> I was actually getting to such a question. So mm -hmm. now he's saying, um, just to put it in, 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 a, in a short sentence, uh, the pastor is saying there are times where gospel artists charge exaggerated amounts of money. And when you invite them, the, they tell you to make a down payment of a certain amount of money. What is your take on such? Um, okay, uh, I've understood his question and uh, I understand his position. Mm -hmm. So to try and help one another, I'm going to answer it from an artist's perspective. Point yes. Uh, what happens is if you look at music, quite a right, it's a ministry. Mm -hmm. But there's money involved. Mm -hmm. There's money spent. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, studios are expensive. True. You cannot do a good song if you do not have, uh, I think a good studio would charge you not less than 1,500 kwacha for a single song. Mm -hmm. yes. That's a recording. Mm -hmm. Coming to video shoot, that is money as well. You cannot do a good video with less than 5,000 kwacha. That's for one video, one song. Mm -hmm. Then we have the band involved. Those people have to get something as well. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it is a ministry, but they say freely you received and freely you okay. give. Yes, we give freely, but the it's means important. for the, the means we use Today. to get the message across mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. are costly. Mm -hmm. 
So in order for us to, to be able to go back into the studio and do it again and bring you the, the, the music that you will love so that we continue, money is involved. Mm -hmm. That is why the, those, those charges are involved. And besides, it's, um, artists are on different levels. Not uh, all studios charge the same. True. They charge differently. Mm -hmm. So I will have to look at how much does my studio charge? How much does my band want? How much do we spend on trust? Yes, how much do we have to spend on fuel and the likes? So that is what leads to such. Okay, um, you don't think you've got something to say on that as well? Yeah, not really much, mm -hmm. but I'm um, just um, adding on what I say. Mm -hmm. You know, Everything here is uh, just money. We are not just saying that we are selling the word of God. Mm -hmm. But like he said, for you to make a movement, for you to go to the studio, mm -hmm. just even the talk time itself, you know, it's, you ex it's yes, you spend mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm just trying to clarify on that. Let's just not take the point of, oh, no, they are charging, they are charging. Mm -hmm. It's not about charging. Somehow, I hate that they are, they are charging, but uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, before we actually get back to the interview, uh, there are some artists that are really good in the studio. When you listen to their songs, their voice are golden. Okay, mm. they're like so extra nice, and then when you put when they're like uh, supposed to sing live on stage, their voice are just something else. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a test on both of you. We're gonna sing, uh, choose a song. We're gonna sing a song. We're, we're about to. Don't mind. Uh, I'm not an actor. So your, concentration, <laughs> your concentration, guys, should be on this. To me, I am just a presenter. Oh. So we, we're going to do a press song. Just so you sample your voices, so that we know that you you, okay. you, you, you tell us the truth. Let's not do a praise song. I surrender on that. <laughs> we are going to do a worship song. Great, yeah. By sure. uh, Flame. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I need you more. Let's do it. I'm ready. Ule fire imwe. Kukavila kwa mwe wandi. Kwi kala muche ni chenu Echi la kata mwe o andi Kumone shinso chenu Mbaya we Nde mi fwaya Le so shalu vine Nde mi kavila Kanavesa Anijumo Anijumo Band. Like the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. You're okay. already in it. <laughs> we have a caller. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Thank you. It's due to the weekly gospel show. Who are we talking to? Okay, Mr. Kachala, go ahead with the contribution. All right, thank you so much for coming through. But I would to Thank you, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you, I'm so grateful. All right, thank you for coming through.
So there you have it. If you would like to ask Ludovic or M3 any questions, the phone lines are open. Uh, we're hoping that they get to answer your questions. I don't know if we can get too personal, but at the, if you were following the interview, Ludovic mentioned that he is actually married with two kids. And M3 just told us we should be waiting. I'm going to get my heels. You and should. my dress ready oh, well, you for should. that day. You should. <laughs> so if you have any questions, uh, any any uh, encouraging words, you can actually come through with the numbers scrolling on your screen or you can also come through on Facebook. Now, uh, Ludovic, should we expect an album from you? Yes. Um, actually, I have got, I already have an album. You already have one? Yes, okay. uh, called uh, Lolela Fie. Lolela Fie. Lolela Fie. Meaning just wait. Oh, just wait mm -hmm. for the God's time. How many tracks are on it? There are nine. Okay, and which uh, one is your favorite from the nine? Favorite, I think. Which it's one not, is the not one just that one. speaks to you? Not just one, I've got uh, about uh, three of them. That speaks to you? Yes. What are the titles? Lolela Fie, Yesu Mulipano, and Chikondi Chamulungu Chilibe Marili. I would love, can, can you sing the chorus for Chikondi Chamulungu Chilibe Marili? Yeah. Chikondi Chamulung Chilibe Malili simply means the love of God has got no boundaries. Malili. Malile, the Malili. boundaries. Oh, Malile is boundaries. The boundaries, uh -huh. yes. Are you able to sing a chorus? Chikondi Chamulung Chilibe Malile. Chikondi Chamulung Chilibe Malile. Kankale Ochi Mama Kululukila. Chikondi Chamulung Chilibe Malile. Kankale Osoa Ama Pueza. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh. <laughs> I'm having fun. Oh. I'm really having fun. Okay, so uh, how has your album still been from the time of the song? When was it released? Oh, uh, it was. It has been released in 2018. 2018. Yes. How has been the response from the public? Okay, actually, yeah, people were buying. Mm -hmm. Although, uh, to the Corona thing, uh, we had a, a challenge of Spending moving up. Yes, uh, yes. So, how, how, how has it been? I was I was getting to the question how you're surviving amid this COVID nine COVID nineteen. Okay, uh, like selling, uh, people used to call me, uh, then I deliver the, the CDs. Mm -hmm. That by those time, uh, those days we used to do the CDs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now getting to you, M three. Uh, you have one music video. Uh, should we expect more from you? Are there songs that are actually somewhere, somewhere, or you have recorded some already? We're just waiting for the videos. Mm -hmm. um, I have an album and I have a, an EP. Ah, great. Yes. Uh, well, how many songs are on the EP? There are about seven. And then on the album? Fifteen. So from the album, what is your favorite song? What's the title of the album? The album is titled Isuvilo. Isuvilo. What does Isuvilo mean? Hope. Ah, great. And then the, what is your favorite song from the album? Mm, the album. I there's one song, there's that the, particular song that you really like and it speaks to you. I know all the songs speak to you because of course you sang them. Yeah. But what is that particular song that just... Um, I love the one that has a video because it's in both. The EP yeah. and the album. Ah, the Sumbula. The Sumbula. Yes. Okay, so it's it's your favorite from both the EP and the album. It's my I would say it's my favorite because it's my people's favorite. Ah, so. yes, that's my <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Second from that one. Um. Wow. Um. There's a song called Jesus. Jesus, that's the title. Yes. Let's From sing the, the chorus. Let's do the chorus. Um, it's a. Is it a worship? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Jesus, Son of the Living God, that is who you are. Son of the Living God, that is who you are. Oh, 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 that is who you are. Oh, 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 oh that is who you are. I love how it's going like, oh, 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 o
That is who you are. Oh, you really need to master the keys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how is the sale going for you? When was the, the album released? The album was released in 2015. Mm -hmm. Then I released the EP in 2019. Okay, how has been the sale so far? Considering the fact that there's COVID-19, there's so many restrictions. So many restrictions. We thank God for... You know, it opened up our minds mm -hmm. to think broadly, rather than just the, the, the hard copies where you just, because gatherings were cut. So we had to go online. Mm -hmm. Thank God for platforms like uh, Vesasani.com, yeah. where you, you upload your music and you're selling from there. Mm -hmm. And other platforms that we are uh, yet to, to put our music on, but okay. uh, that's the plan. Uh, just to take you back from the time we started the, 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 our conversations, M3, you mentioned something about low self-esteem. How did you manage to overcome that? Don't, didn't you like, don't you like get stage fright sometimes whereby you look at a crowd and you're like, uh, I have to cancel this show. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from a background of low self-esteem. This time. Okay, just hold that, just hold that thought. We have a caller. Hello. 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 Good morning. Thank you. Who, you are through the weekly gospel. Who are we talking to? Yes. Okay, you're back again. Yes. Thank you so much. We appreciate. Regards to the madam. Thank you so much. I'd like to go ask you, brother. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, sometimes you, you hear most people ask you, uh, they have a concern that uh, secular music makes more money than it costs for music. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the mistake of the day? All right. Thank you so much for coming through. Uh, thank you so much. Bless you. Uh, Little Vic, there's a question that has hit you. Uh, he says uh, there are some thoughts, or maybe uh, people say the secular music makes more money than the gospel music. What's your take on that one? Uh, on that one, I think it's just 50 50. Because mm -hmm. what I know is um, when you are being loved with uh, what you are doing, people are loving what you are doing they also you can just sell freely uh, the, the, the problem there is we are not yet reaching on that point mm -hmm. whereby uh, people recognize you that it's your gift sure. yeah but as we are uh, trying our necessary move, means to uh, blossom mm -hmm. Uh, things become easier, making money, yeah. so on and so forth. Oh, okay. Uh, and and, and before we got the caller, we were just talking about how you managed to overcome your list of the scheme. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, in 2000, you know, I was born again in 2007. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then, the, I think I would say the baptism of the Spirit came on me in 2011. I remember very well, it was on 11th November 2011. Mm -hmm. So from that time, it was like, when I received the Holy Spirit, I received boldness. So right now, it's, it's the exact opposite of what used to go on. So for me, I was like, I'm, I'm, like right now, it's a situation where if uh, I find myself in a place with a few people. In my heart, I'm like, dear Lord Jesus, <laughs> somebody has really missed. I am uh, a person that now ministers with boldness and confidence because I have come to embrace it as my purpose and love it as... Uh, and comparably, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I just love what I do. I love the people. So, so we can say you, 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 we're no longer going back to low self-esteem. Kudos yeah. to that one. Hit it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now before I let you go, um, 
we all know, as for me, before I, 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 I get on stage, either doing the news or presenting, it's kind of funny, but I, need, I feel I need to smell good to build my confidence. Okay, now when you get, uh, Ludovic, when you get into this, the, the, the studio, what is, what is, how is your creative process like? What, what puts everything together, the lyrics, the beats, what, how do you get to that final product? What is your creative process like? Okay, uh, as for me, I just, I just, uh, I just go to the, uh, to the studio with the, the, the chorus. I don't have to maybe to sit mm. down and write the them. Best. No, they just come From the head. according to the chorus. And uh, if I, I uh, let me say this, uh, I have to cut you short. Okay. I've got this song, which uh, it, it is in the second album called the Iseni Munga Fue. How many albums do you have? I'm doing the second album oh, this right is now. In the yeah, upcoming album. Yes, mm -hmm. and it goes like this. I am the winner. The ni munga ko kimbol kimbol wa kutaja jamalesa. The ni munga ko kimbol kimbol wa kutaja jamalesa. For I am the champion. So uh, in that song. I just went to the studio with the madame and with the chorus only, and all the, oh, the verses were starting coming overflowing. While you were recording. Yes, oh, that's yes. a good one. Yes, that's a really good yeah, one. That, that's been creative. Yeah, it's been creative. You are talking um, about as an artist. Yeah. <laughs> MJ, how is your creative process like? Well, as for me, a lot of things. Uh, there are quite a number of things I consider to be factors. Mm -hmm. One of which is the chemistry between the artist and the producer. Sure. There has to be that chemistry. And then also the atmosphere that you create as you work mm -hmm. also matters. If the producer is a cold type, it would be very difficult. I would work because I am gifted, but probably something would be missing. But if the producer is the the happy type, you know, as we allow hype people, yes, is. we are hype and all that. If the producer is that kind mm -hmm. and is giving me space to be me, mm -hmm. then we have the best. And then the other thing is also about, um, I think, for me, I go to the studio, just like he said, with the chorus only. It's rare that I would have a complete song. Notebook with yes. the verse, the chorus, Those the swan, the I think when sweeping in the studio, people find a lot of papers, papers. <laughs> because the beat also speaks. The atmosphere speaks. Mm -hmm. The chemistry with the producer also speaks. Mm -hmm. So what you need to have, for me, what I go with is the chorus, which is the carrier of the main message. Mm -hmm. So when I begin to do a few things on the paper i don't run away from the topic which is in the chorus oh. so that makes me stick to yeah like to so that's it. how i work ah great yeah. so before we let you go a uh, little bit those that would love to uh, get your music your contact details social media how can they get interactive with you okay wow um uh, for the music i've got um a Facebook fan page called Ludovic Chongo. Mm -hmm. So there is a number there, uh, 0978 mm -hmm. 134563. Mm -hmm. And I also have um, a YouTube channel, uh, same name Ludovic Chongo. They so can also get your music from there? Yes, sir. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, if they need the, the videos. Okay. And I've got a promoter, the uh, Chapa Music mm -hmm. from the Copper Belt. Uh, um, I've put the links there, okay. and uh, the iBlogs, uh, iBlogs music, there yeah, are some audio uh, music there. Okay. So, uh, not only that, if you need to get the music, you can just contact myself <laughs> on the same line, 0978 13 You WhatsApp me, uh, okay. and I'll get back to you. Okay, M3? Uh, for me, um I have a Facebook page which is M M M Zoe. That's triple M Zoe. Yes, triple M Zoe. How do you the, spell Zoe? Zoe is simply Z O E. Okay. Yes. 
and uh, I have uh, a YouTube channel, yes, which is M3, M and the number 3, mm -hmm. space, Zoe. Okay. Then they can also contact me on uh, WhatsApp, which is 961 7922277. That is 0961792277. And okay, great. So as we are ending the show, uh, Jutovic, we are playing a song called Lelo Nabuela. Lelo Nabuela. Lelo, it's. Some spelling. Out here Super. making me look like I can't speak Bemba. <laughs> Lelona Abuela. Um, that's the song we're ending with. Yes. Uh, I would love you to introduce it. Uh, and also, yeah, and then I'll say my babies and then close. Okay. Lelona Abuela is uh, a song of my heart. It's a. Uh, this song coming from the book of Luke, chapter 15, they see. 11 to 35, the prodigal son. son. Oh, the Lord, now we're the Lord, like, now we're now coming we're back like to Christ. Back. Yes, after realizing the mistakes. Ah, great. That's a good yes. one. So there you have it. I was having a conversation. Our guest for today on the Weekly Gospel was uh, Ludovic and M3. They were just giving us an insight of how their pro the creative process is, where they started from a, as gospel artists, and also what they think about the gospel music industry. So unfortunately, I have to say my bye-byes. Thank you, Ludovic, for coming through. Uh, thank you, M3, for coming through. Thank you. Now, what tribe are you? Uh, Bemba. Not, you're also Bemba. Sure. Not <laughs> <laughs> from, from As, all the way from the Copa Belt. Yes. Well, from As, it's have a beautiful morning and make sure that you stay safe. If you went, if you're still going to church in the afternoons, make sure that you pray for everybody that hasn't gotten an opportunity to do so. So we're leaving you with a song coming all the way from Ludov Ludovic. It's called Lelona Abuela. And also, we, if you didn't get a chance to see M3's uh, uh, music video at the beginning, uh, it's called De Sumbula. Okay, from us, it's have a beautiful morning and thank you for coming through.
my brother we will love and love oh yes Yes, 